to show you how you can generate purchase orders from sales orders one at a time. Why this is nice is if you put a sales order in and you're out of that item, you can immediately generate a purchase order from the sales order and then track the allocation of that item until you receive it and then go ahead and ship it to your customer. So let's take a look at it. This is a sales order that I just created in my system. And you can see by this message up here, I don't have an adequate quantity of this item on hand. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and purchase this item. So I'll go to Actions, Functions, create a purchase document, and create that purchase order. The system will suggest a vendor for this particular item. If I want to change that vendor, I can change that. But I'm going to go right ahead and accept that. And now it's created the purchase order. But I want to do one extra thing. I want to reserve or allocate this quantity for my sales order that I just entered. So what I'm going to do is go to Functions, click on Reserve. And what I want to do is reserve from this line. So I'll go to Actions, Functions, and Reserve from the current line. And that reservation is then made in my system. So what this allows the system to do is say, hey, I've got this quantity coming in on the purchase order that we just looked at but it's already reserved for a specific sales order. So we'll see this reservation not only on the purchase order here, but also on the sales order. And this will reduce availability for this item in this location. And that's really the whole process. From there, I just go ahead, receive those items in, and then process the sales order as I normally would. Mm -hmm.